So yeah, changes, adjustments need to be made on that defense. Um, they'll get into it here during the bye week. And of course, we got to talk about it. Defensive coordinator Eric Chenander fired on Sunday, uh, marking the second straight week. Um, we had a Sunday firing, Scott Frost, a week before that. And to me, it was one of those things, um, Chins, as the team calls him, um, was really well liked. I mean, he was mm -hmm. a, a great By coach. Us too. Yes. Great coach for everybody in the building. Um, very, you know, very personable. He was always willing to, to talk to the media, you know, shed some light on the defense. But obviously this season, the results just weren't good enough. The bottom five um, defense nationally. And to me, the big thing, too, I mean, you looked at his scheme at UCF. We heard about it, you know, when, when Frost brought his entire staff over. The defense was supposed to be aggressive. They were supposed to force turnovers um, and, you know, make it so that high tempo, um, you know, offense could roll down the field, maybe get some short fields, have a lot of possessions. And really, I, I don't think that really translated at Nebraska. Yeah, it didn't. And I feel like last year there were so many talented players on defense that that kind of stop the yeah. bleeding a little bit. Like, they played well on defense last year, but they definitely have been exposed this year without, I mean, the litany of players that they lost. Yeah, and I mean, we, we could get into all of them, of course, but I think JoJo is obviously yeah. the, the biggest one. I mean, he produced quite a few turnovers there in that, in that nickel role and just such a, a veteran player that could, could make a lot of plays. And when you lose that, when you go back to you know a sophomore who's who's getting his feet wet, that's a that's a big adjustment, and we've seen that at a lot of positions. That's been a I think a major factor in the the regression from last year to this year. 